Hey hey and welcome to the channel of that burn guy. And today I would like to tell you about a new Clip Studio feature. I mentioned it in my video dedicated to the Clip Studio update 1.10.5 from my channel for Russian speaking community. And by the way, I will be translating and uploading some of the videos from that channel. Such videos will be marked as re-upload and do not represent the actual quality of the latest videos. So, to be more specific, this is not actually a feature, but rather a new preferences window in Subtool Detail Palette. So let me show you how it works. I pick a standard G-Pen brush and go to its Subtool Detail window. Here you can find a new window called Color Jitter. In this window you will find two new preferences palettes that can be used together or separately. They are Change Brush Tip Color and Randomize Per Stroke. So once you've activated Change Brush Tip Color, it might seem in the preview of the brush that nothing really changed. But let's play with the sliders a bit, just with the first three ones for now. And now the difference is quite obvious. Change Brush Tip Color randomizes the shade of each point of a stroke's path. Now I will play some strokes so you would clearly see what I mean. You may have noticed that thanks to the randomization, the stroke feels kinda volumetric. Now let's talk a bit about each of the sliders. In this case, hue is the main parameter of the randomization, while saturation and luminosity just make this feature more flexible and give you more options for the randomization. Also, you can see several buttons to the right of the sliders. Clicking on them opens a new window. In this window you can tie the randomization parameters to such things as the speed of your stroke, the pressure level and the angle of your pen. The fourth slide can also be tied to these parameters. By the way, this slider adds your subcolor to the randomization. So all the colors that the randomization gives you will also have a slight shade of your subcolor. For example, right now my subcolor is red. So as you can see now, all the colors on the randomization have this reddish shade. The second palette does not affect the main stroke. It randomizes each new stroke. So each time and each new stroke will be of a new color. The sliders here are all the same – hue, saturation, luminosity and blend with subcolor. But sure, since it's a different preference, the sliders will give you different effects. For example, if you leave the hue slider on zero, most of your strokes will draw with nearly same shades. And if you raise it, you will see different colors. The rest of the sliders are not of much difference. Just remember that with this preference you receive new color on each new stroke, not within a one stroke. And basically that's the main reason why you cannot tie this palette to the speed of your stroke, the pressure level or the angle of the pen. And of course, do not forget about the opportunity to combine these preferences. So if you activate both preferences, you will get numerous shades within one stroke, but within a new stroke these shades will be different. And like with any subtool detail parameter, you can make them visible and lock on the tool's preview window. Now let's take some more interesting brush, like spray with separate particles. Upon activating the first parameter, each particle will be drawn with different shade. And if you activate the second palette, the set of colors for the particles will be different with each new stroke. And yes, this feature can be applied to most of the brushes. So for example, you can make your brush for clouds look like a brush with colorful fur, or transform your spray into a brush for confetti. However, this won't work with the brushes that are based on some already registered colored materials. For example, I have a beautiful custom brush set for drawing medieval maps. The brushes there are based on complex and drawn elements like trees, mountains, etc. These are not just line art and they're not transparent. That's why this color jitter won't work with these brushes. I am not aware whether this is temporary or they are going to make such brushes work with color jitter as well. So basically this is it and that's how this feature works. Let me know if you like this feature and if you liked my video and if you did and you would like to support me in any way, you can subscribe to my Patreon and receive many different including physical gifts. You can also check out my other pages by the links in the description. There I publish my artworks and different news. So, thank you for your time and I wish you a great inspiration.